Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Tracy and today I have a haul for y'all on um, some stuff that I have picked up as of the last couple months. I can't remember the last month that I did a haul, um, but these, these cards have honestly just straight up been accumulating and I'm like, I just really need to film this. I'm just like, I need to like get it out of the way. So I um, kind of have a bunch of things to talk about. So honestly, let's just get right into it. So the first, I kind of have like a random category and I'm going to start there. One of my friends, Logan, made me this um, token, which is really cool. It's like a wooden like chip material. And um, this art is, oh my God, it's angelic something, angelic strife or something, angelic justice. I don't really know, but um, basically um, I really like this. I put this on top of my deck if I need like a, an extra reminder to do a trigger or something like that. Um, I really like this. This is very cool. The next thing my friend Isaac made me, this is a, I don't really know how to just, oh, it's like the 3D printer material and it's like a life total. And honestly, I don't, I, I like, like keeping things in my, um, what was I going to say? I like keeping track of my life total in like my notebook, like on a piece of paper, but, um, this is really cute and I like this in this like really pretty blue color. So those are like the random, well, we're not done with the random stuff. Um, I got a new Ultra Pro deck box. Um, these, I really like these. I have like, let me show you an older one. These are like what the older ones look like. They say like Ultra Pro on the top and then they have like this and it's basically the same thing with like the material's a little bit different. It's like a little bit nicer and I like that the Ultra Pro is like the same color and I got this in this really pretty purple color. This is for Merfolk and yeah, I don't know. I really like these. I think that they're really nice and they come with a little, um, they come with like the little like card insert thing. So I really like these deck boxes. They're just really nice and I really like how they like reformatted these. I think they look really good. So all right, now the random magic cards. So the first card I want to show y'all is, okay, y'all, I'm so sorry. I like, can I tell you how literally obnoxious these videos are to set up with my tripod? It is like the most obnoxious thing. Okay, so I'm going to be building zombies at some point in the future. And my friend Robbie, who works at Maja, has got me the Liliana um, timestamp promo. So like basically my whole thing is if it comes in timestamp or pack foil, I want the timestamp. I love timestamp stuff. And so um, I freaking love this. And I, I don't normally show off cards that are new to me that I haven't put in a deck yet like on these videos I'll show them on like Twitter and stuff but um I really wanted to show this off because it is so freaking pretty I don't know why I feel like the foiling is like not showing up for some reason but yeah this is awesome okay other random things still we got a couple more cards I got the foil cities blessing I'm really pumped about this I honestly forgot that this like existed as a thing and I have like other tokens and stuff that I could use for it but I like how I actually have something that is the actual city's blessing because I do run Ark of Araska, which is the land and I really like it so that is good my friend Travis gave this to me yesterday and he was like I know it's not a jellyfish but like it made me think of you this is a starfish and this card is actually pretty good I'm like I don't know what but I'm thinking about building like a sea monsters deck potentially with actually this card as the next card as the commander which is prime speaker van affair I got this um a couple like we months ago whatever when the set came out and um I think prime speaker is so boss oh my god she's so good I really like her a lot. I think she'd be a really good commander for um, for that deck if I did like a sea monster like type of thing, um, potentially. I don't know. She seems really cool. Okay, the next thing is, I don't even remember when I got these. Like, this is why I was like doing this and I was like, some of these cards I literally don't remember when I got my hands on this card. Like, this is crazy. Um, so I got this full art opt, which I really, really like. I don't know what, does it say what this is? Oh, this is like an FNM promo. I never, I can never keep up with this stuff, but this is really pretty. I don't actually have a use for this currently, um, but the next time I build a blue deck, this will definitely go in there. And that's why, that's why they're in this category. And I'll just show these together. Um, I traded for a steam vents and an overgrown tomb. Um, these are always really, really good to have. I actually have an excess of overgrown tombs. I feel like I have a playset three of the old and then this one and then a steam so it's just an extra but honestly sometimes if i'm trading for cards and i literally don't see anything and i see fetch lens a shock lens i'm just like whatever let's do it you know what i mean okay um i don't really know where to start with decks okay here's we're gonna okay we're gonna start with omnath just because there's so little cards the first card is the Valakit. I'm actually, okay, I just moved you guys a little bit. Um, okay, the first thing is the time stamped Valakit. Um, this was this has been a card that's been on my wish list for a really long time, and I really, really wanted it. And I finally traded for it, and I'm really excited because I really like it. It's the time stamped and it's pretty. Then I got just this foil mountain, which was really pretty. Oh my god, I'm so pumped for this. 
I got a foil Nylea. I've never seen a foil Nylea before. Nylea, so pretty. This is a stunning foil. God, I love filming these videos. I love I love talking about foil magic cards. And this is not a foil, but um, I got a Home of the Host. And I can't remember if I bought a tray for this. Like I said, this has been accumulating for months, so I truly don't remember. But um, I got this actually for equipment, and I don't remember if I talked about it in my most recent um, EDH updates video, but I decided that I was going to, like, take that deck apart. And so I had an, a spare Home of the Host. And I was like, well, this card's, like, 20, 15 bucks or so. I was like, I should put it somewhere. And then someone suggested on mouth, and I was like, oh, yeah. So I put it in on mouth. I was like, oh, this card's really good. So, um, cool. Okay, let's talk about angels next. Um, the first card is Hour of Revelation. I didn't even know this came in a time stamped, and I was like looking at cards randomly the other day, and I was like, oh my god, this comes in a time stamped. Thought about it. <laughs> it's like a dollar, and I'm like, this brings me so much joy. Like the what is it like the Marie Kondo thing or whatever? Does it spark joy? Yeah, my foil magic cards spark so much joy. Then we have a foil crush contraband. I really like this card. Someone was saying that they like the other one better that does the same thing. It's like a little bit different. I can't remember what it's called right now. Um, I can picture the art. I just don't know what the card is called, but I like this one. Um, then we have um, Swords to Plowshare foil. This foil, honestly, is like really not that expensive, which honestly surprised me because I feel like this is a card that's really widely played and sometimes like more widely played cards, the foils are really expensive, but this one was like two bucks, which was really good. Um, and then I got a planner bridge. I'm really, I, I don't think I showed this in my last haul. I'm pretty sure this is like beyond that, but I thought this card would be really good for angels. And I think this card is really good in general. It's a lot of mana, but I like, I have so much mana acceleration in that deck. Like I just got this other mana acceleration card, which is Sis's ring. I don't even know if I need this card in there because realistically I have so many other mana accelerators, but you know. That's a card that may come out in the future, you know what I mean? Okay, then we have, I should probably take these out of the perfect fits before. I don't know if y'all care, but anyways, um, I this I did not know existed. This is the Magic Players Rewards Day of Judgment. There's another promo Day of Judgment, and I don't like it as much. I love this. This is like so amazing. This, honestly, this is $5, you guys, $5. Like that's incredible. And this is like a widely used card. I like don't know why it's not more expensive. I'm not complaining. I should probably pick up a couple more cause it's really pretty and I'll, I'll run it in every single, um, every single white deck. But then we have Sensei's Divining Top. I actually, funny, I was playing with this the other day and I was like, a card made me really mad. And I feel like a lot of people really love this card but I honestly just, I'm not impressed and it's gonna come out. <laughs> So I'm not showing it to you, but then it's going to come out. Then I got a Teutonic, ed a Teutonic Edge. I don't know why it sounded so weird. A Tech Edge. Um, yeah, I honestly, this is just a card that I've never owned before. Like, it's a really good card to have. And then I'm so pumped for this. So I'm pretty sure I had a Japanese, or maybe Chinese, um, a Chroma. Y'all. Can we just, like, take a moment? This is so stunning. This is like honestly one of the most beautiful foil like ink foils I've like ever seen in my existence. I'm obsessed with this. It's so pretty. Um, and this is like not expensive too. I think it was like eight dollars. I got that in a trade, and I'm very excited about it. Um, okay, cool. So now let's talk about ladies. Ladies got a ton of new stuff. We'll do the lands first. So um, my friend Robbie, who gave me the Liliana, also got me a playset of these. Uh, lands. These are the Ravnica Weekend lands, and I thought it would be so perfect if I have, I don't have a lot of basics in that deck because I have a lot of like dual lands and stuff like that. Not the actual dual lands. I am not that cool. I don't own those, but um, I have these, which I thought were so cool. Is it just me or is my camera like not focusing? I don't know if I'm like tripping right now, but anyways, um, I really, really like these. I think they're very, very pretty. Okay, I am so sorry that I keep stopping and pausing. I'm just like, I literally get so livid filming these overhead videos. It just it frustrates me beyond belief. I feel like the angle never looks good, so I apologize. Anyways, um, so yeah, I he gave me these, which was super amazing. I think these are really pretty, and I'm kind of at like a crisis where I literally don't know what to do with my basic lands because I don't know what I like anymore. And so I think I'm just going to do a mix match of just all the types of lands that I like. And I think these are absolutely pretty, and I love the detailing. Like, blah, blah, I'm all about this, so... Um, okay, cool. Then we have Tessa and Paul. Um, I, I, I got this. Like, he randomly just had a foil Tessa. And then I was like, I mean, and he's like, oh my god, you should put this in, um, you should put this in five color because with Silver Queen, it's not so much of the first ability, for the second ability because of my tokens from her get Vigilance to Life Link. Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, so there's that. And then, um, I, one of my friends gave me a frilled Mystic, which was so awesome. He, like, opened it in draft and he was like, 
here you can have this because I, I was talking about it and um, this card's so good. I have this in Mystic Snake too, which is really amazing. So, um, then I got a tireless tracker and it's so funny. I was actually like, before I had gotten this, I was like, oh my God, I really need to get another tireless tracker. They're really expensive. I mean, this card, I feel like needs a reprint too. But anyways, I wonder if this card came out in, Does this card have the time stamped for the foil? I don't even know. But anyways, um, I feel like this card's really expensive in foil probably. But anyways, I got a regular one and I really, really love this card. Then I got a Olivia Voldaren, and I've wanted this card for a while, but I've just, like, never, like, needed it. So I never, like, purchased it, but then I was, like, trading, and then I was like, oh, man, Olivia. And she's not expensive. I think she's, like, $2, but, um, yeah, I'm really pumped to have that. And then, guys, I literally was, like, going through the, and I was, like, pulling out cards, and I... I can't for the life of me remember where I got this card from. I have like zero recollections, like blacked out, have no idea. I don't know where I got this. I I have like a vague memory, but I don't really know. So this is cool. I'm really happy that I own this. I like forgot that I owned it Um, because I have I have two and this card's not cheap. This is like $40. Um, it's definitely one of the most expensive cards I own. Um, then I got a Rubina Soul Singer sign, which is so exciting. I was trading a bunch of cards. I posted this like this was like months ago, but I um I I got rid of my um promo Japanese. Oh my god, Slush Steel Colonies. So I had like I was trading with one of my friends, and he literally I got like two hundred dollars worth of cards, which was like insane. And so I like one of them was like this. I mean, it's like not very expensive, but I love that it's signed because this card never came in foil because it's only been in the commander sets two times, I believe. So I'm really pumped that I have a signed one. Cynthia Shepard's like one of my favorite artists, and she's a female artist, which is awesome. And then the last card for this deck is a foil Conflux, which is awesome. Okay, I might think I, I think I might set something on fire. My camera just like died, so I just changed the battery and I'm like I'm I'm like I'm done. Y'all, I've had like the longest day and I'm like I'm so freaking tired and Okay. Um we have three more decks to do. So then we're gonna do Rune. Rune got a couple of new foil things, which is really exciting. So the first I got is another crush contraband. I got a couple of these along with this card, Swords to Plowshare, um, because I won a Star City Games store credit, which was so exciting, and I got a bunch of random cards that they had in stock foil. Um, and then I also got a foil Mystic Snake, which is really exciting. I'm pretty sure I got this in the same order with, um, with, with these other two cards. Like, I think I got all of these together at SCG. Then I got a Cyclonic Rift, which is so exciting. I think I have a Cyclonic Rift now in all my blue decks, which is so exciting. Like, all my decks are run blue, and I'm really pumped. Um, so I got a Cyclonic Rift. And then this I this was a while back. Um, Paul, I think, opened this as his promo, and I put this... This card is so good, guys. I, I, I played Rune last night, and I had Avenger of Zendikar, and I had this, and I had Triconic Resonator, and so all my tokens were, like, six sevens. It was so hilarious. Oh, my God. I killed, like everyone at the table it was great I didn't really kill everyone at the table it was like I think I killed like two people but anyways um this card is boss this card is really good and I'm so happy that I have it in the timestamp not like this is an expensive card but yeah this card's really good and then I got a foil coiling oracle which is really pretty I love coiling oracle it's such a good card oh my god I'm so pumped about this card <gasps> I got a foil resto angel yes i love this art mm, johanna vest yes yeah voss mm, one of my favorite artists and just this art this card makes me so happy i'm i'm so pumped i, I was like thinking about it before i got it i was like i really need a foil resto angel and um you know you guys know like the launch day party art i like that art but i like this one more it's hard. It's, they're both the. I like both of them, you know. And then I got a Knight of Autumn for this deck, which is so exciting because for a while I only had the one, and I put it in Ladies because it's a lady. But then I was like, oh no, I need one in. Um, I need one in this deck because this is so good in Rune. And I literally when I was playing it like yesterday, and I like kept blinking it, and I gained like eight life. It was so good. Um, and then I got a Noble Hierarch, which is really exciting. And then, oh my god, this is real, really exciting. I got a foil soul ward. And this, this foil is stunning. I love the fact that these are, these little things around her are all foil. Oh my god, this art is so freaking pretty. Randy Gal, Gallos? Randy Galagos? Yeah, ooh, one of my favorite artists. 
cool beans okay now we're gonna talk tassiker tassiker is like almost foiled out and it's like really exciting y'all okay um the first thing i got is a foil treasure cruise which is really exciting this foil is like 50 cents bt dubs the ultimate masters one i'm like not someone who cares about set symbols i just like foil things you know what i mean okay and then we got a cyclonic rift i don't know why i've literally never had a cyclonic rift in tassiker like i just got one which is ridiculous i think i've shown like three cyclonic rifts in this video that's kind of insane i don't really know why i've acquired all of them all of a sudden okay then we got the magic player rewards ponder which is so awesome i love this this is so freaking pretty oh, steve argo has my heart okay the next thing is i don't even know this card existed oh, buried alive i don't really like the old border but i love this symbol like if it has this symbol i'm all about this and this is greg staples oh yes legit all about it look at that shine on the on the border oh my god i love it okay y'all this is like the coolest thing ever that i'm like ever gonna show you in my existence look at this guys i have like no words this is from alteredprints.com this was the when i when i was telling you guys that i i traded my friend for like a bunch of cards this was one of the things that i saw and i was like i need that and he was like yeah you do this is like one of the best things that i own sweet okay then i got an archaeomancer and i was like realized i was like oh my god how do i like not have archaeomancer and this card's card's so good so I got that card and then oh I'm so pumped about this I got a foil rune scar demon I love this card and I'm so happy that I have it in foil I don't think this was that expensive I want to say it was like eight bucks in foil this is a really good card I'm honestly surprised that this card in general is not more expensive because it's like so freaking good and then the last card for that I got for Tassiger which I'm so pumped about is the time stamp to dig through time I didn't even know this existed for a while. I honestly thought that there was only the regular foil, but they have the timestamp, which you guys know. I love timestamp stuff, so I'm so pumped that I own that. Okay, y'all, we have one more deck. Zagana. This is the amount of cards that I'm going to show you. Isn't that insane? I don't even know why I have this many cards. I don't know why I've acquired so many cards. I really don't understand, but anyways... The first thing is Farseek, and I love this art so much. This art is so good. This is a really good card, too. I really love that. It's not basic, so you can literally get whatever you need. This card's great. And then we have Reality Shift. This card is amazing. This card is so good. Then we have the Full Art Ramping Growth, because Therese Nielsen is life, and I love this art so much. Okay, guys, I realized that I think this art is my favorite. The Kodama's Reach, this new art, it's in my feet, is better, I think, than the old art. Yeah, this art, this is really pretty. And then this card, I feel like, I feel like, I didn't have this originally because I have a list of cards, like, that are new, so I know which cards I got, so that's an easy way for me to keep track, and I don't remember this card on there, but I know I got this card kind of recently, Cold Eye Selkie. This card's amazing. Guys, I played with this, like weeks ago and i had this and it was like a four four and i literally drew so many cards off of it and it's a card that like i think people look at and they don't think it's good but this card is boss it's so good okay and then we got a doubling season which is so exciting i own one other doubling season in omnath and i really need one for this deck and i'm so happy that i own this um then i got this um for <laughs> robbie hooks me up with um with free cards because he's amazing um this was like the the um one of the promos or something does it say it was the planeswalker weekend thing and i'm really excited i don't think this card's very expensive but karns bastion um i'm really excited about this because it's proliferate which works super well in this deck and yeah okay then we got a foil marrow harbinger which is really exciting this is a stunning foil and overall this card is absolutely amazing this is one's warping a little bit i have to um I have to find out a way to unwarp it. I know my friend Chuck, who's like a foil holic, I know does a bunch of things. He knows things. Okay, uh, then we have Lord of Atlantis. I had to get the white border. I, I think this card actually may only come in white border. No, no, I think it comes in black border. I don't really know, but I love the white border on this card because <laughs> I like white borders. Un unpopular opinion. Is anyone else with me? Okay, I love the full art silver gill adapt. I'm so happy that I own this. This is like such a pretty foil. <laughs> 
actually living for this art. I'm s I love this. This is like the purple and the blue. Just, I'm dead. Literally the third psychonograph. I don't even remember. I remember only acquiring one psychonograph. I don't know how I acquired the other two. I'm literally blacked out. I don't know. But yeah, psychonograph. And then another foil treasure cruise, which these were not bought together. These were actually bought at like two separate times, but foil treasure cruise, which is really exciting. And then I got the, um, what does it say what it is? I don't remember what, what promo this was from. Like, I don't know why this was a promo, but the staff of Nin, which I love this card. I already have one, but I just got the foil. And the next card, this card is so good. Y'all curse of the swine. I got it in foil and like this card is so amazing. I'm excited because I have a non-foil now. So like if I ever want to run this in another deck, I'm just like, this card is so good. Such a good control card. And then I got a foil fade into antiquity. I love this card. This card is like one of my favorites. Green does a lot of artifacts and enchantment removal, but this one exiles, which I really love. And the last card that I'm going to share with you guys is a time-stamped promo Seafloor Oracle, which I love. I love all of the art that they've done in, I don't remember the set, the set name, but I loved all the, um, Ixalan maybe? But I love all, like, the, um, purple and stuff and, and pretty pinks and colors that they do there, so is really pretty so guys that is everything thank you so much for sticking with me through my literally horrific edits of this video because it's just gonna be like a hot mess express so thanks for putting up with me and i will talk to you guys in my next video